Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve. I'm here once again with a very familiar face, my good friend, Michael Lush. As you know, we're, we're all about world building on this channel, helping you build a parallel economy for yourself, for your loved ones that enables the eternal values of faith, family, and freedom to absolutely flourish. And Michael's been on the forefront of that world building, uh, building a patriot economy for some time now. And he's here to give us an update on what patriots need to know about interest rates in particular and going into the uh, new year. And just so everyone knows too, Mike is having an amazing major virtual event and next week he'll be telling us about, he'll be diving into all these topics and more. And you could sign up for that just by clicking on the link in the description below. So Michael, welcome back. Happy new year to you. Happy New Year. Awesome. So, and I, and we were talking beforehand, you look great, man. Those are the duds you're wearing. That's from Christmas. You're, you have a wonderful wife who knows how to take care of her man there. Yeah. Great stuff, man. Yeah, she knows what I like. Camo and... <laughs> Cam camo and the, the American, uh, American flag on there. It's awesome. Right, right. So, so, yeah, uh, got the event. yeah, there you go. So, so last week, uh, just diving right in, man, the fed, uh, raised interest rates by half a percentage point, uh, in an effort to slow down the economy and try to tackle inflation and the like <laughs> an inflation they caused, of course, but how right. should we think about this move? And, uh, what do you see as its effect overall on the economy and, and particularly the housing market? Yeah, I think it's a telltale sign, you know, by although they are increasing interest rates and we don't like to see increasing interest rates as consumers. Right. Uh, but they did instead of doing a 75 basis point interest rate hike, they did a 50 basis point interest rate hike. And we're already seeing lingo that they're going to have to reverse course probably the second half of next year. So we may see another interest rate hike uh, in you know first quarter of this year, maybe even second quarter of this year. And it's going to get to the point because th it's a bit of a lack. So some of the decisions that they made this summer, they're starting to see now, right? So mm -hmm. the decisions mm -hmm. that they just made to increase interest rates again by 50 basis points, it's going to be a lag, but then it's going to hit us kind of like a, a dog chasing a car and they're going to hit that bumper and they're going to realize, oh no, now we need to reverse course and, and actually drop interest rates to get the economy back going again. Right, right. So if you were to give advice to someone watching this uh, who was hoping to say buy a house this year, mm -hmm. What system do you rely on that would help patriots make an informed decision that benefits themselves and their families? Well, the good news is, is we're already starting to see uh, real estate values drop in a lot of markets. Um, so if you're sitting on the sidelines, you've been waiting to, to get into a new home or even upgrade that home, you know, it, we're seeing price corrections, at least in my market, I'm seeing it uh, on uh, different scales. Now, at the 500,000 number and below, we're not really seeing a lot of price corrections, but above 500,000, which... Let's be honest, it's, it's kind of tough to even buy a, a two bedroom house, at least in my market for 500,000. So at that price market and above, we're starting to see price corrections, meaning that they had listed it for 699. Now they're listing it at 599, which tells you that, hey, you've got a seller there that's motivated to move this property, even though we still don't have lots of inventory when it comes to real estate, but we're seeing exactly what the Fed wanted. They wanted to hurt the, um, not only the economy, because they're, they're wanting to drive up interest rates until we see uh, unemployment price, right? So that could be your right. job that they're wanting to see cut. But they're also their other demand was that they wanted to see real estate values taper down a bit. And we've already seen that. We've seen that for the last two months. And we'll continue to see that even though inventory hasn't popped yet. So it's a good time, really, if you wanted to get into a home. But you got to really unlearn everything that you thought of about financing, not just real estate, but anything in your life, whether it's a car or a boat or, or anything else, you really have to unlearn how you finance uh, any assets that you're looking to acquire, especially when it comes to real estate. And right now is actually a really good time because with interest rates peaking like they have, banks still have to get customers coming in the door for two reasons. Number one, they need customers and new originations to come in. They always have to have a waiting line of customers coming in the bank door. So that's number one. Number two is they have to protect their own balance sheet. So with what we deal in, which is lines of credit, whether it's business lines of credit or home equity lines of credit or personal lines of credit, banks are flooding the market with what we call promo rates. 
So we have four different strategies that are keeping borrowed funds well below 5%, which is lower than what you probably have explored on Google or anywhere else as far as getting a home equity line of credit, especially a mortgage that's at 6 and 7% now. We have four different strategies to keep borrowed funds well below 5%, sometimes even 0.99%. True story, my own personal finance, I've had 1.99% on my home equity line of credit for three years running because banks are flooding the market with these promo rates because they need to protect their balance sheet. Because keep in mind, a home equity line of credit isn't something that they sell off to a secondary market. This is a bank owned asset that they keep on their balance sheet. So they're looking at these interest rates going up and say, hey, we don't want any defaults on our balance sheet, maybe on the government's balance sheet, but we don't want any defaults on our own personal balance sheet. So they're flooding the market with these promo rates to make sure that these customers don't default on that paper. Wow, so, so you you mentioned the HELOC the home mm -hmm. equity line of credit. Uh, get, can you give us a, just a little uh, tutorial, very quick, crazy yeah. about what a HELOC is, how you discovered this system? Yeah, so my origin story is I was a 17 year mortgage veteran and doled out thousands of mortgages uh, throughout my tenure, whether it was as a loan officer or a senior executive with you know, some pretty large mortgage firms. And I had a mentor who owned a hedge fund, still owns a hedge fund, as a matter of fact, a very wealthy individual who basically hit me with this one sentence that says, Michael, you are basically selling financial crack to middle America. Hmm. And the reason why he specifically said middle America is the poor can't afford it. So think about it. if you're poor, you can't afford a mortgage. You don't qualify. Right. Hmm. And then on the upper end, the rich, they don't use it. So that was really what kind of piqued my interest. Like, okay, I'm selling financial crack. So you basically call me a dope dealer and I've basically sold tons of dope to thousands of Americans across the country. So what, what are you doing? And I assumed he said, we pay cash for everything. That was absolutely not the case. They still utilize other people's money, right? You know, we, right. we always visualize and contextualize that rich people are smart. And to a certain degree they are, that's how they got their wealth. But right. the success always leaves clues. And what he explained to me was we still use other people's money, but a mortgage is a very archaic, inefficient way of financing real estate. So what we use is lines of credit, simple interest lines of credit. That way we can focus all of our cash flow towards this line of credit, but still remain liquid. And that's what we'll talk about next week in our virtual event from January 9th to January 14th is what we've laid out as our blue, our, our, our bulletproof financial system. And it really breaks down into five categories. Uh, and it's, it's a, these categories are designed and it, it's a pathway to create your own economy, your micro economy. That way you're resistant to inflation, interest rates and all these other external factors. Right. So number one is how do we find the buried treasure? We call it the buried treasure detection system. So, you know, early on in, in 2008, 2009, I was house rich, but cash poor. So I had all of my money trapped up in my real estate. And what it led to was lost opportunities. It also led to some financial heartache, too, because I again, I was house rich, but I couldn't access it. Right. However, I had a buddy and a mentor that was utilizing a totally different system than I was as the mortgage planner. And he had capital for both opportunities and life events. So I was having a life event happen to me, but I wasn't liquid. And had I been liquid, I could have not only weathered the storm, but I've also could have capitalized on those opportunities because we all know 2008, 2009, there was a lot of foreclosures. Well, if I had access to the capital in my home, not only could I have afforded my home in a more efficient way with my current income, but I could have actually leveraged it to purchase other homes for a discount, right? right. So there's right. really two sides of that coin in the buried treasure detection system. Number two is you've got to replace your cash flow. And we call it the replace your cash flow system. So my cash was actually losing value by sitting in a bank account daily, right? Because when we walk in the bank, you look to the right, the banker says, here, deposit your funds at 0.24%. And you look to the left, the loan officer's over there says, here, borrow money from us at 5%. Mm -hmm. And we never put two and two together, realized that this person that we just gave at 0.24% is walking over and handing money to this person who's giving it back to us at 5%. Yeah. And what the result is, is a guaranteed negative 3,600% rate of return, a negative 3,600% rate of return by financing real estate this way. So we have to start thinking like a banker. However, my buddy, he had cash that was liquid and it could be in two to three places at the same time. This is what we call mirroring, right? So Steve, if, if I handed you a dollar and you put that dollar into something that's earning interest, wouldn't it be cool if that dollar is not only earning interest over here, but you could put it in one to two other places 
that are also earning interest, the same money, right? Mm -hmm. I know it sounds like sorcery, but it's actually what the wealthy do. And it's what we will explain coming next week on January 9th at our virtual event. Then number three is our debt ninja system, right? So I was using an archaic inefficient debt tool like a mortgage that we've talked many times on, on your podcast and in your, your YouTube videos. It's a death pledge. And it, it takes decades to really impact, right? It takes 18 years on a mortgage before you're actually paying more in, or more principal than you are interest, right? right? So my buddy wasn't having that issue. He had a more efficient debt tool that he was allowed to evaporate his debt with his existing budget. This doesn't require you making more money or spending less money. So not only was he evaporating his debt, but he was actually growing his net worth at the same time, utilizing this debt ninja system. Number four is the asset acquisition method. So what I was doing in 2008, 2009 was I was acquiring liabilities, right? But if you have access to this capital using step number one, what my buddy was doing and my mentor, he was using the debt ninja system to acquire cash flow assets, right? So it doesn't have to be you know, a, a real estate, it could be insurance, it could be a lot of things. So he was leveraging his cheap cost of funds and using arbitrage, again, thinking like a bank to acquire assets that actually paid him monthly dividends. And then five is how do we protect this? And we call it the bulletproof financial system. So my capital or lack thereof at the time was exposed to external factors. You know, we look at 2022, what happened? A lot of people with a 401k, IRA, probably had a ding of anywhere from 20 to 40%, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, obviously, yeah. They, they shouldn't cash out because that makes you a guaranteed loser. You're probably trying to weather the storm. But nonetheless, you have interrupted compounding interest because your money value just dropped. So that was my situation. However, my buddy's situation was he had capital that was liquid, but also growing at the same time, despite what the market was doing, despite what inflation and what interest rates were doing. So those are the five steps that we'll go over next week, starting January 9th. That, it sounds amazing. So holistic as well in terms of building that microeconomy you're talking about. Uh, I mean, it seems like what, everything you're saying here seems like a no brainer. So what, what, why aren't more people taking advantage of all of these amazing opportunities? Yeah, two things. Number one is fear. You know, really where the fear comes from is a lack of confidence because there's a lack of education. That's what we're going to uncover in this event is we're going to give you those nuggets and that value so that you can push forward in 2023 with confidence. So fear is number one. Number two is time. You know, people, they don't want to spend hundreds of hours or thousands of hours researching this topic to try to learn it for themselves. So what we've done is we've kind of collected it and condensed it for a third grader to understand. Because any of the math that we go over, it's gonna be third grade level math. We're not talking calculus or algebra, it's very simple math and very simple tools that the average person can get access to. You don't have to be elite, you don't have to be rich to gain access to these tools that these banks have, but it's a collective system that you have to learn. There is no one tool that is the magical elixir. So we gotta put all these pieces together and create a system that all complement each other. So what does a person do to to uh, to participate? And you said it's a five day event. Can you get just to flesh day. that out a little bit more? Yeah. Yes, but I, I don't want to. I don't want you to think. Oh my goodness, who has five days to devote to this? So it's going to be at five p.m. Central Standard Time. It's going to go for one hour, right? So each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's one hour. So I'm going to ex expose the entire banking system, how the rich use their money, how they protect their money, regardless of what the economy is. And on the, after the hour, we're going to do a one hour Q&A. So you're only looking at five total hours of information to consume to really set you forward in 2023 and really hit those financial goals that you've been holding off for decades. Wow. Well, as you can see, gang, you're not going to want to miss this. Uh, click on that link below. Sign up. Seating is limited. OK, gang, so don't wait on this. You want to do this right now. Click on the link below. Sign up for Michael's virtual event uh, throughout the entire week. It just sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, date and time once again for the first meeting, Michael. Yeah, January 9th. And again, one of the reasons why I'm going to do a virtual event, we've done physical events, you know, Salt Lake City and things in the nature where people have to fly in, get a hotel room. You're spending thousands of dollars to consume this information. I wanted more impact this year. So we went to virtual events where you can literally just click on that link. It's $97. You don't have to get a hotel room. You can do it from your living room. You don't have to get flights and things of that nature. We don't have to worry about food and catering. 
So it's 97 bucks to attend this event. And we're only asking for one hour of your day after the workday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Awesome. Absolutely awesome, gang. If you're wanting to make 2023 the year you build your own personal parallel economy, this is it. You're not going to find anyone better than Michael. He's a good friend of mine, and I, I wouldn't trust anyone else to this. So, Michael, thank you so much. Can't wait for next week. It looks, sounds like it's going to be a great event, and you're going to be uh, blessing a lot of lives. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Y'all take care. God bless. And God bless you, man.